Hi, this is Rachel, and today we're going to talk about topic 30 of our supervision curriculum on group contingencies. Now, I mentioned it earlier in the videos, but as we get towards the end of our topics, which our last topic is topic 35, these involve the trainees going and doing their own research and then presenting back to the supervisor in that group session. So the next few are going to be very short as far as the lecture portion because there's a lot more focus on having the trainee find the information and learn it and present it back. So for this topic, the trainees are expected to find the information, present it back to the group. And then we have a discussion about feedback on the thoroughness of their presentation and correct any misunderstandings. Um, when you first introduce the topic, it's good to determine how much they know about the particular topic. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to provide a very short summary on the group contingencies. And then at that point, I leave it up to the trainees to come back and present to us. So the three group contingencies that we focus on are dependent, independent and interdependent. So the dependent group contingency is where you have one person that wins it for the group. So in a classroom, it might be that we all get extra recess if Johnny finishes his math before the bell rings. That would be a dependent uh, group contingency. Everyone gets the prize gets the reward, gets the reinforcer, as long as one person or maybe one subset of the group completes the task or meets the criteria. Independent means that each person operates independently of the group. So the group contingency might be for anyone who gets done with their math before the bell rings, you can have extra recess. So one person could get it, everybody could get it, anywhere in between, whoever completes the criteria, they get access to the contingency. So the group contingency exists as an option for everyone, but everyone's performance um, can vary and they each would receive whatever the consequence of their action would be. So if they meet the criteria, they get the reinforcer. If they don't meet the criteria, they don't get the reinforcer. The interdependent group contingency is where everyone has to do it in order for everyone to get the uh, reinforcer. So we all will have a pizza party on Friday if we all finish our math before the bell rings. So we all can have extra recess if we all finish our math before the bell rings. If any one person does not finish their math before the bell rings, we do not get to stay out for extra recess as a class. So those are the three group contingencies that we discuss. I assign each uh, trainee a specific group contingency to present on. For the assignment, they are to prepare a 10-minute presentation, uh, describe the group contingency in detail, and to use the behavioral skills training format to teach the group how to run the group contingency that they were assigned. So it's not just describing the group contingency, they're also expected to teach us how to use it, which means that these presentations often include practicing the group contingency within their presentation. And that's been really creative to see the way that people have worked in that practice as well. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the comments below and join us next time for the next topic. Thank you.